A New Jersey judge faces calls for his removal amid nationwide outrage over the way he handled a rape case. The alleged assault was captured on cell phone video, but the judge declined prosecutors' request to charge the 16-year-old suspect as an adult, in part because the judge says this teenager came from, in his words, a good family. Meg Oliver is following this case. Meg, what's next? People are very upset about this. They are. Good morning to all of you. Well, an appeals court overturned the judge's decision, warning him about expressing bias toward privileged teenagers. The case could move to a grand jury where the teen would be treated as an adult. Victim advocates say this is the latest example of judges seemingly protecting accused rapists rather than their alleged victims. Critics are slamming New Jersey Judge James Troiano's ruling, saying he was too lenient toward his 16-year-old boy accused of assaulting a girl at a party. Prosecutors said the teen shared video of the alleged incident and texted friends saying when your first time having sex was rape. But Troiano described the suspect as an Eagle Scout, saying he came from a good family and was doing extremely well in school. Everything CBS News legal analyst Ricky shows. Kleeman. It is remarkable in this day and age that a judge could look at the facts of this case and not consider this situation a serious enough crime that would warrant this young man being tried as an adult. The judge also questioned out loud whether the encounter was a rape, saying rape usually involved two or more males using a weapon, sometimes in an abandoned house or shed. Troiano is now drawing comparisons to former California judge Aaron Persky. He sentenced Stanford University student Brock Turner to six months in jail for assaulting an unconscious woman, writing a prison sentence would have a severe impact on Turner. These kinds of biases um, and attitudes are completely incompatible with serving as a judge. Michelle Dober led the successful campaign to recall Persky last year. She worries these rulings could have a chilling effect when it comes to reporting similar crimes. Decisions like this and statements like this um, that favor accused perpetrators um, really depress victims' willingness to come forward. Prosecutors say they are now assessing their next steps in talking with the victim and her family. We reached out to the accused teen's attorney but have not yet received a response. We also reached out to Judge Troiano, a spokesperson for the court, says they have no comment at this time. I'm very fascinated by this judge because mm -hmm. he seems a little out of touch. If, if the thinking on his part is that a rape normally involves two or more individuals and a weapon. In an abandoned house? And, yeah, and his definition of a good family when somebody says your first time having sex was rape. I, Ricky what Clemens. do you know about him? Well, we looked into his background. We did not find a pattern of leniency. He is a retired judge. He is called on from time to time. Mm. Um, but as Ricky Kleeman pointed out, she hasn't heard words come out of a judge's mouth mm. like that yeah. since before 1970. Yeah. Wow. This awful story. Yep. Thank you, Meg.